Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got another Smite Life commentary here for you. And it appears that I have been chosen to be the one, the only, Odin. One of my favorite gods, of course. And it seems that we are fighting with a, uh, a Crunchy, which is a god rank 1. That's uh, a new thing I've never seen before. Anyway, of course it's another Assault game. I prefer to keep the game modes switched up. Unfortunately, the toxic levels in Conquest that I was encountering were a little bit too high. Even higher so than my Toxic Monkey video. So I kind of figured, why not chill out with some more Assault. Because at the end of the day, I still have a lot to learn when it comes down to abilities and such. And teamwork. Assault is pretty fine for that. Now we are fighting against a pretty powerful team. They have a carry, I have high burst with Zeus, Hebo high burst magical as well. It's a very magical team, which is unfortunate because I'm Odin. Odin has, has that passive physical protection, but they have a lot of burst. Uh, yeah, they are going to be able to sustain, at least to constantly be firing at us. We have shackles, so we, they can basically stop our getaways. They have, of course, Hebo that can just chase us for days, stuns. Uh, from Cupid and Ymir. So that's going to be very painful to watch. But we have a Hebo as well. And an Hercules. We have an Anher. And a Vulcan. So we can possibly zone them out quite effectively. If we look at Vulcan. But can we make something happen with my ultimate? I don't necessarily see any real way of making like an, an awesome ultimate combination go down with my own ultimate. But one can only hope. But anyway, like I was saying as well, they have a very high magical team. So one of the items that I'm going to pick up this early on is definitely going to be a Stone of Gaia. Which will bring me to almost 50 left. I will pick up a Mana Pot because I get Mana Ridge and also because of my passive. And this should be good. Now, I do also want to get a lot of items to increase my own damage output. We have two physical people or gods in our... Um, of course, in our own team, so I might be looking at a Void Blade, perhaps. Maybe I just might pick up uh, an Executioner or a Frostbound Hammer. Frostbound Hammer is definitely an item I'm going to pick up. There's also, of course, the... Um, what's it? Uh, the Ankh. Very lovely as well. As you can see. Ooh, they actually have... Ah. This is awesome. There's a, apparently a nice update, which allows you to... The, the side you're upgrade, apparently. That's awesome. 15% of your physical protection is converted to physical power. Ah, sweet. Unfortunately, they have a lot of magical damage on their team. So I might actually not pick up an Ankh as well, because... Well, as you can see, it's mainly physical damage. But, and anyway, and that is a, uh, until that is a thing, it's a wonderful um, item nonetheless. I wonder if actually there are more items that do that then. Because that's that seems like a wonderful opportunity to make sure that items always have a use. Just making sure that I don't... Well, I should probably should just uh, pay attention to the game. Just checking real quickly the shop if there was anything else like that. There probably is. If there's not, there probably will be in the future. So here we go. Just gonna wait until we have that initiation. Because they're putting down the church, which are probably just gonna get destroyed relatively quickly anyway. Now the initiation is going to be a problem unless I'm going to jump in. But if I'm going to jump in, I'm pretty much dead meat. I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go. There's the, uh, there's the ultimate. There you go. Let's put a mana pot in here. There you go. Tried to make something happen, but it seems it's not going to turn to anything unless we can get Zeus. His ultimate is down. Oh, that's, that's not any much of anything. I try to get close to him. But of course, my slow was on cooldown as well. Hercules getting a nice grab there. There's the ultimate. Ymir goes down. Let's buff my units as well as our minions or our heroes. Ares goes in for the pull. I'm going to stick outside and wait until I can jump in and hopefully pick him off. Nope, he is gone already. As Hebo goes in for the ultimate rush. I'm trying to slow him down. I have enough health to tank. And Herc, can you do it? No, he doesn't turn into anything. Looks like we have got a 114 against the 113, so we got one more assist. Now, of course, my health is going to be up for days, thanks to my passive and the Gaia Stone already. And the reason why I pick up my uh, my physical protection is just to protect myself against Cupid, as well as, of course, the regen that I uh, get from it. And the slow is nice, and the AoE damage is also quite well. 
for the current situation at hand. Ah, that's Zeus for you right there. Water is a good conductor for electricity, so he does die. All right. Everybody is back, so we should just back off. Oh, there's the wolf in Ymir. Please be careful, guys. I can only do so much with what I've got. I did pick up the kill, though. And as I will start tanking for days, let's just put in our beloved... All right, I'm going to body block the auto attacks right there. Hopefully get the kill myself. We're going to just jump in, get the kill, hopefully get away. No, the ultimate of Zeus, pretty much too powerful. I'm not sure if I even got the kill, but even if I didn't get the kill, I was going to die. Managed to pick up a kill, though. Two, in fact, which is not too bad, and I tanked damage for ages. Now that I have my ages, <laughs> I'm so funny. Now that I have my uh, my level three Tabi boots as well, so I can also put a little bit more damage. It's probably better, or would have been better, if I picked up, of course, my um, what's that item called? My tanking boots, reinforced boots. I'm probably gonna pick up a Frostbound Hammer next, or should I pick up an Aegis? I'm gonna pick up an Aegis, I feel like that might be a tad bit useful, considering their burst, as it will make me invulnerable and gives me that uh, lovely damage reduction, I believe, afterward once you upgrade it. Anyway guys, whatever this, this game turned into, a win or a lose, like a lot of you guys didn't said to me on stream that you guys don't mind if it don't mind. Wow, you guys don't mind if this turns into a, a horrible loss as long as I've learned from it. So I'm gonna keep that in mind and trying to learn from all the things that I try to body block. Nope, but there's Zeus for you. There's no getaway from that besides invulnerability or outrange. I'm not even sure if you can actually, technically speaking, outrange that and that strike. Anyway, of course, Anor and are getting a little bit too high. He Hebo doesn't mind. He just does his thing anyway he's quick he's fast he's furious and as you can see this game is turning out in their favor quite effectively i'm trying to clear as much as i can but let's be realistic here it's uh, four five against one i can only do so much with the tools that i have at my disposal but there is vulcan probably can put a turn or two allowing us to farm a little bit more effectively or zone a little bit more effectively assuming we don't get caught off guard of course all right here we go let's be looking at what we have hercules going in he's one uh once hercules gets his uh his pole thing in that earth shatter ability that he just did I keep forgetting the name we might have a nice initiation tool right there that's the pillar though hebo getting a little bit too aggressive so i'm just gonna go in jump there's my ultimate gonna see what i can do against this zeus as he almost dies there he goes Zeus down, ladies and gentlemen. Pick up the wrong ability, but I guess it's a little bit more damage for initiating. As Ener goes in a bit hyphy, he should understand that he's a little bit too close to the tower. Gonna attempt to body block all the things. Let's just buff if they do get close. That was a bit premature buffing. I tend to like keep... I like to buff people even if it's a waste of mana. And right there, it was a waste of mana. We're too close to the tower anyway. Change is not that much of a difference, or it didn't make much of a difference. There's Cupid though. I'm gonna just go in and hopefully get a kill or some assists. There you go. Definitely get some assists. Cupid is forced back. We have our minions as well. So I'm just gonna stand near the tower and just tank the damage. Cupid can't hurt me. Ymir can probably stun me and use his ultimate against us. Now I can take it, but my team might have a bit of an issue with that. As Zeus has returned as well. Ymir of course is powerful. Explosive ultimate. Very dangerous. We should back off. We should really back off. Back up. They have full health. They have their new items. So we should back up. Hebo is low. Hercules is lower. Hebo just died. Anor is low. We should back up and get to our tower. Vulcan just getting a little bit too aggressive there. Just to put his, uh, his little turret down. Alright. We can't do much of anything. We should not fight at their tower. Because if we get them low, we can't chase them without taking additional damage. And of course, I have to go in if they initiate, just to be sure that I don't, you know, waste my team. But then again, I might be filling them a kill as well. They have way more health, and we do not have that right now. And Hebo has that lovely knockup that just is quite a decent range. It's very deceptive to not, uh, to avoid that, or to not get hit by it. It's very difficult to dodge, I find, especially against a good Hebo. And he seems to be the good Hebo, even though Zeus is going to be their carry. He was just five kills, my bad. So it's definitely going to be funny to see how this goes. I'm going to go with my Aegis right there. I'm just going to stand there. 
as I do die. My Aegis only lasted for one second. I got pulled in. There you go, we are at their tower and they still managed to find a way to get us in and that's Air Aries for you. They have a lot of perfect synchronization with their ultimates of course. Aero's ultimate, pulling everybody close. Ymir can block you and slow you and stun you on top of that. While Zeus nukes you and Ymir can also use his ultimate on top of that. Which just uh, is exactly what happened. And it was very painful. At least for me, it was a painful experience. Now my team is dropping like flies. So I'm going to see if I can actually pick up the Frostbound Hammer. Well, it's a start. Alright, let's put an active up here. Let's get a meditation. Um, some sustain. There you go. That should do it. A little bit more health. Now I can also slow them if I do initiate. And my team should just back up. They are not backing up enough. Oh, man. They just... Of course, they're also getting dived. So I guess there's that. Play it safe, guys. Oop. There you go. There's my stun. I'm probably going to get nuked here for days. Let's just use my ultimate right there then. And see what I can do with the damage of the tower. There you go. Popping potions. As I do get a player kill. I'm going to jump out of there before I get demolished. As I get a double kill. So my attempt to get something out of that was useful. We have a disconnect. Hebo disconnected. He probably rage quit. Let's be honest here. So that's not all that good. We could have definitely turned this around as long as we played it safe. This this game can instantly change like this. It's once the Phoenix is down and you have good items, just you know, have one good team fight on your favor, push them back, and it's pretty much done for. Got a nice double kill. I have not a lot a lot of nice money right there. I'm doing my job as Odin as good as I can considering the current circumstance. I'm gonna jump in, zone these two lovely guys out. I'm gonna buff all my peoples. Um, there you go, let's pop some potions for the additional sustain as we move in and give chase. Alright, my cool ones are almost coming up. We're looking to get Hebo it, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to go for Zeus. I'm going to try to go in for the slow. I'm going to get pulled in as damage goes my way. I'm getting a little bit too low for comfort, so let's jump out here before I get shackled and demolished. My health regen should get me back up quite effectively, so just being out of combat for a couple of seconds will give me a lot more oomph. Or at least the ability to resist a lot of oomph. There you go. Let's just try and lock these two guys in. As I jump out. Because I don't want to get caught with them. There you go. Let's drop that. Hercules, get the hell out of there, dude. You're going to get destroyed. Now he turns around. He doesn't run. He decided to run. Oh, he uses it. Divine Strike, was it? To get out regardless. But never turn around. Going to take a lot of damage here. No, not all that much damage. I guess I am... Um, Underestimating my tanking ability or the damage of shackles to be honest. I think that's more of the case But looks like we are able to hold the ground so far But let's be honest the next team fight will not be in our favor because Hebo is disconnected slash race quit a uh, race quit Yes, he quit it. It was a race and he quit it first Depending on how you look at it, I suppose All right, let's see What can we do with this? What can we do? Can we make it happen? Can we make it happen? I don't think so. I'm just gonna regen. Vulcan going in. I guess just putting down some stuff. Alright, there's the wall. I'm probably gonna get stunned. There you go, there's the damage. My Aegis is still down. Ooh, Zeus not doing a lot of damage against me right now. Thank you, health and magical protection. But we definitely should have some sustain. Let's see at the items we have. That's not too bad based on items. Hercules going a little bit weird, I must admit. There you go, to each their own. 5 against 2, 9 against 16. He's gonna use his... Um, gonna use my Aegis to not get pulled in. There you go, they wasted all their ultimates, practically speaking. Gonna use my ultimate there to bring down Cupid. There you go, Cupid. How are you doing? I, I've heard you had a good day. Good day at play school. Let's just go on Hebo right there. Let's nuke Hebo down. Getting a nice skill. Get Kipo. Cupid and he will go down by my hand, or in this case, my spear. Lovely weapon. Well placed ultimate right there. Well placed jump. But will it be enough? Because once again, we don't have the numbers. Only Vulcan here, so we can only zone them out. We can't really get the kills. Unless. I have spoken perhaps too soon. No, I have not spoken too soon. Uh, Vulcan of can't. Vulcan doesn't have good uh, direct damage on a champion. He's more of a. Um, 
Uh, uh, yeah, his, of course, if he uses his ultimate with his turrets out, but they clearly weren't out, so he can't really do much of anything. Almost got Zeus, so like one right jump will probably kill him. But will it actually be that easy to get him? And as I say that, I do pick up <laughs> Zeus. So nice jump, three combo right there. I'm quite, uh, this is what I mean, like with, we might not be winning this game. Like we have a man down, not because my team is getting destroyed, because I'm not really that worried about it. It's more that we have a man down. That's more crucial because this game can turn around even if the enemy team is fed beyond repair. It's all about that one team fight and getting the kill. As I actually get the slain there as well. Now I really want to go back, I have a lot of money, but like I was saying, it's, it's a learning experience because normally I would have just, you know, not uploaded the video. I will upload the video regardless of what is happening, even if we win or lose. But normally I feel like losing videos don't really show a lot of entertainment. I don't sure why, because it's still, as long as you don't mess up, you don't troll hardcore, you don't insult anyone, you learn from your experience and you still do well yourself, it's still hopefully entertaining to watch. But for some reason I feel in, my, in the back of my head that it's less entertaining. Let's just jump out of here! Wow, close call, but I'm gonna die because of Hebo right now. Well, I've got my wish to go back. As we picked up their Harry, so it's a tank for a tank basically, because I tend to build a little bit tanky. I'm more of a bruiser right now due to my frozen um, frostbound hammer. So, okay, there we go. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't feel like it's that entertaining. It's a, it's a really weird thing in the back of my head, but there you go. But nonetheless, I think it's. I can learn, definitely learn from this. Because even if we have a man down, if you just come, you know, if you keep fighting, keep your head into the game, you can still be a very much, a very big threat to the enemy team. All right, let's see. Why am I looking at magic? Odin uh, is very magical, but he's not magic based damage. Also, once again, why I keep, I, it's too much magic in my head at this stage, guys. All right, let's just, shall I pick up the Ankh? It will give me nice health, I suppose. Hmm. And it will give me... Huh. You know what? Let's just try this game out. I'm not even sure if it will work well. Of course, it does give me more physical power due to the uh, passive that I've gotten. If it actually works with that. But there you go. Let's pick up Bulwark of Hope as well. Because I feel like that might be a good item. Because I'm going to be at the uh, at the enemy. Because Bulwark of Hope is probably not a good item for a caster as it comes to magical defenses. But when it comes to... Um... Alright, let's just turn this in here. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Let's jump out because the damage is getting a little bit too insane. And as I say that, I might die here. Let's just use my F then to buy a lot of time. There you go. Got a lot of damage reduction. I should jump through the wall right there. And it appears that we have surrendered. I haven't even said anything, but that's my team for you. They have surrendered, unfortunately. I was trying to be the man. I have been the man, clearly. Um... So let's just unfold. This is just a bitter taste in my mouth because I have done well. We did well. We could have still won if we just got one team fight right now. Of course, with one person less, it's going to be a little bit annoying. Talking about, um, uh, let's just see, uh, report player real quickly, leaving the game. Well, you should always try and report. I know it doesn't seem like it, do, it does anything, but if enough people report, then it definitely will pop up. So let's just hit the enemy team as well. A lot of meditate. Uh, clearly, meditate is pretty much the to-go active item. I, I guess level three, as you can see, damage reduction as well. Once again, bring that tankiness out of me. I had a lot of nice magical protection uh, that I was building up with Bulwark of Hope, Gaia, beautiful. Like Stone of Gaia, probably still one of my favorite tank slash brutal items because it just makes you so sustainable. I know it's probably a, you can probably get a better item at the end of the game, but just during the game itself, just wonderful. Looking at the team items that I've gotten as well. Yeah. Not a whole lot of impressive items, to be honest. I can make sense of Vulcan. Uh, even though he went pure damage based, I guess. Makes him very squishy. Well, of course, the height of Leviathan doesn't really matter. And her. Pretty straightforward. I was expecting him to go Deathbringer or Rage earlier. But yeah. Overall, it's to be expected. But I didn't I didn't do too bad. I had some nice ultimates. Some nice picks. So I really did well as an Odin right there. Even though we don't really have a lot of awesome direct follow-ups. Like for example, if you have Zeus uh, in your mirror with of course the Odin ultimate, it's a nice follow-up. Even though I probably would have preferred to be Ares, because that's a little bit more open. You don't lock people out or in. But there you go. 
Then again, the, the benefit of having Odin, you can actually lock people out and capture him or keep him at a distance with your ultimate at the same time as well. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Of course, also check out my different content and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.